Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna do a couple edits uh, of my recent shoots, and then I'm gonna go through a couple of uh, critique uh, from the 19th group. So let's get started. So this is the one that I shot with Elizabeth in the woodland uh, flower field. So uh, we, we did some motion shots. So I'm gonna use the E5 for this. And then it gives uh, some nice tone to it. Increase the contrast and then increase the sharpness a little bit. So I can adjust the exposure slightly and then slightly on the temperature as well. So I can see the contrast. I can give it darker so that the tree behind is darker. So I will do a 4x5 crop for Instagram. So maintain slightly offset to the center so create some interesting, uh, a little bit in interesting composition as well. So that's it. I saved it. And then this one is in the sunflower fields. I am deciding whether to use the HB2. HB2 has a darker or E5. E5 has lighter but it has an overall brown tone in it. So I will use the HB2 for this one. So I suggest 80%, uh, 85%. And crop it down closer to here. I'm going to rotate a little bit to the right. So I'm, uh, I'm going to rotate a little bit. Make it rotate to the um, correct position. And then save it. And then increase the uh, contrast, decrease the light exposure a little bit, increase the sharpness, highlight. So I'm just trying to do it quick because, because there's some critique, uh, just give some space for the critique video. Um, so this one is nice. I really like the, uh, the sunlight in the background with the bokeh. So I just uh, do the E5, increase the contrast, so it has a nice, like, outstanding portrait light from the front, and then the back is darker. So I adjust minus 0 0.5. You can see there's a branch. I mean, not the branch, the uh, the pole right there. So I'm gonna do a crop, crop out the pole like that, and then make sure it's slightly in the center so i just crop out the pole on the edge i can still see a little bit you can just like crop it closer but make sure it still have a little bit of headroom on top so that it's uh, not too tight on top so i save this one that's it so this one is a nice uh, sunflower feel blow out this one uh, was using i was using 56 1.2 so it has a nice bokeh in the back so i use e5 i do it all the similar sharpness i decrease the exposure a little bit so it create an even stronger mood and adjust the parallel um, of the rotation a little bit and then i crop 4x5 yep so that's it and then save and then next one this one is with Arial and then it has a nice sunset vibes to it so I'm gonna use the HB2 in this one and then increase the sunlight many of you have requested how to do the sunlight shots so basically I I use the EVF from Fujifilm, the electronic viewfinder, a lot, a lot when shooting sunlight, and then <clears throat> what you see on in the electronic viewfinder is what you get from the JPEG image. So I shoot JPEG only uh, from the Fujifilm. Fujifilm has nice JPEG, nice skin tone. So I'm gonna crop, leave the headroom a little bit. I like the sun flare of the red sun flare across her head a little bit. It has a nice like. Uh, framing with the sun flare so I use the sunlight on here to 
uh, made the image a little bit interesting so this is the original and then this is the edited so it's more it's a stronger contrast create a stronger image so and then next one this one was also using the I was using the 56 one two also using the 1.2 I'm gonna use the let's see so this one e5 is good too but I have to reduce the brightness I can see the face is still too bright and then increase the highlight save increase the sharpness I just need to do a little bit more contrast and then adjust the position just to make sure because the head is looking from the right to the left so make more room on the left that's my principle of composition whatever the direction of the model pointing to leave more room on that direction so that it has more space uh, overall in the image so I save this one and then next one I use the sun catcher with this one if you search the sing sun catcher or sun catcher prism sing and then my handle name uh, you will see my other videos using the sun catcher so it's a prism that uh, have different rainbow uh, lights through the prism so I increase the contrast increase the sharpness I can still see too bright a little bit too bright I will decrease the uh, exposure so I save 4x5 cropping a little bit here like that and then I save it so this one I like the framing in this one and I'm gonna use E5 to create some tone in it and then reduce the brightness a little bit you can see on the edge has some white area in it on on the left edge i'm gonna crop out that uh, edge so i'm gonna crop it like that make sure it's on the third area of the composition because four by five instagram crop so i still see a little bit too bright so i'm reducing a little bit more so I saved it. Yeah, this is a nice uh, backlight situation also. <clears throat> I use the H HP tool for this one. And I will increase the contrast a little bit more. And then the exposure reduce slightly. And this is pretty much it. I will just adjust, make sure the head part is on the third area. Need more headroom from the top for the flare of the sun. So I save it. So this one is nice. I changed the lens using the 52 f1.2. The previous one was using the uh, 35 f2. So I will just increase the contrast uh, a little bit more, and then highlight save, and then rotate a little bit from this side. Then I will do the cropping, 4x5 crop. Yep. So make sure that it has some more room on the, because the body is facing to the right side. You can just leave more room on the right side slightly to offset the center a little bit. <clears throat> so this one also, so this one is similar, right? So I'm going to just do a copy edit and then paste, paste it here. So I can see it's too bright. I'm gonna use the HP2 for this one. And then reduce the reduce the exposure even more. Yep. I will rotate slightly a little bit more here. And then 4x5 crop like this. Yep. So that's it. That's that's all the thing that I edited today. So because the time limit, 
I'm gonna do the quit quit video quickly. So I go back to the previous. I typed it in already. I typed in the previous uh, name. So I'm gonna go through all of this right now. So the first one. I like the bouquet of this flower. It's very nice. I can see that you arrange nicely. You have a portrait and then you have a non-portrait. You have a non-portrait alternatively. So doing a great job. Uh, I can see that uh, I really like the color in this one also. So uh, this one it cropped uh, a little bit to the right. So what I mean is uh, there are very less room on the right side. So make sure it has an argument also because um, you're looking toward it but however when you're looking from outside because uh, it still seems too tight on the edge to the right edge so just make sure there are some room uh, left on the on the edges for the portrait but overall I like the maintain uh, I like how you maintain the fee so alternatively doing great job so next one so I can see the three flower set this one is nice color however uh, I will make more headroom also because uh, you can see that in the second row the third one it crop out the face a little bit so just make sure you can step back a couple more feet uh, just include it in the picture and I like the color in this one nicely match with the sunglasses So I like the, the tone of the sky in this one. So this portrait is a nice low light portrait. So for the fee consistency standpoint, I won't post these two similar posing together because they look very similar. Um, I will post another environment like right? because they are both facing to the left side. It seems like when they are next to each other from the Instagram fee standpoint, they are very similar so it um, in order to create an interesting pattern you can post this one and then post another uh, post another non portrait so that to space it out instead that's just my take on that oh I clicked the wrong button so I like how you maintain the um, three set in a row uh, so as long as it's consistent, it should be fine. Okay, these two lines next to each other kind of offset. So make sure that uh, make sure that they align each other. You can post this one and then post this group one and then post another one so that the the on the line on the edges is not that often. Next one. I will crop this one a little bit more because when I look at the photo, it seems uh, cropped it too uh, low. Sorry, not too low. It's like, like the person, it cropped over the neck area. So I will I will leave more uh, space of the body. So I will crop down a little bit more. So leave more space of the body so it's more concentrated. next one so I I like the idea of using the shadow however make sure that uh, the eyes uh, are always like visible also because when the eyes are in shadow it kind of like um, like there's nothing to focus on the image so what I mean is that if, if the eyes should be in the light area that's my opinion on that and I like the environment wrapping it however if the face is facing to the left as I was talking about you should crop it like this to have more space on the left instead of the right because right now there are a lot of empty space but it doesn't create a purpose of this empty space because the face is facing to the left so it's better to crop it like this to have more space on the left if the face is facing to the left to have less space on the right so 
So that's my principle of the cropping. So I like the idea of this portrait uh, altern alternative also. So doing nicely done. I really like the composition of this one. Nicely done uh, with the horse on the lower right corner. Really nice composition. And the tree stands out in contrast of the small person. So it creates a very strong visual of those trees. So it gives you an impression, oh, these are the, so, the trees that are so big. So I like the bokeh in this one, nice uh, low light bokeh. So yeah, keep it up. I can say that uh, if this person, uh, so this image, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to see, understand your idea of how you're trying to compose this image. Because when I first look at the image, I couldn't see the person because the person has the same color as the uh, steel. So unless the person has to stand out somewhere, because um, I had to look at the image for a little bit and then until I found out, oh, there's a person there. Um, so maybe when the person is, has the red color outfit, uh, it might stand out better for the image. But other than that, nicely keeping the feet like alternatively. So nice use of the flower to frame the portrait. Um, like in front of the lens to create a nice color foreground that matching the color of the flower. So and this two the this this one nice individually. Like these one are very nice portrait and but when they're next to each other you can see that the hand are too close to the head of this one. So make sure that has some room when you space out your feet. So when you crop this one you can make sure that left side has some more room on this one and then this one has more room on the right side also. Because when they are next to each other they seem too tight. The other alternative is you post this far away one you post this close up and then post a far away. So instead of uh, too far away, and then they are very close to each other on the on the second row. So make sure to space out the space uh, with the Instagram feed. Okay, next one. Also, the same uh, comment I have is to make sure to have more room when uh, building up the feed on the Instagram so and the color also so this one has dark color this one too light color on the sky so I will post one of these and then post another one like the, the background color and then post another uh, white background color so yeah, just make sure the cropping and how it looks in the square also because um, I'm, I'm looking from the Instagram feed consistency standpoint. Uh, when, when you look at the square, it has to look good in the square format also uh, for Instagram. Unless uh, you are have that photo is just for commercial use. But uh, yeah, if it posts for Instagram, I would suggest um, make it look good in the Instagram for attracting more people visiting the feed also. So nicely done with the three in a row set. This one is an example of the one that I was talking about. You post a nice uh, light far away one, post a close up and then post a far away. But their horizons are very close, nicely consistent done with this one. So good job. I really like this row right here. So uh, it's very nice. This one also. So this one offset a little bit. So this one crop it down too much than this one. So you can see it's, um, I like this row better. And but other than that, uh, you are keeping nice consistency, and then with the with the uh, tone also. So good job. I think two more, two more left. Nice, good vibes in this one. I really like the hair movement, and these two 
uh, very similar. Oh, yeah, I think you are doing three sets in a row. So, very nice uh, tone and contrast in this one. So, the reason uh, three sets in a row, sometimes it breaks the consistency. I can see that right now you are doing three sets. When I first landed in the feed, I can see this one is uh, the background is bright, this one is dark, and then this one is dark. So it breaks the pattern. However, if these three in a row right there, it will be consistent. So just make sure that you post uh, faster if it's three, three in a row. Maybe post uh, three in three hours so that people will not see this intermediate pattern. Or, or three in one and a half hour. Just uh, make sure that um, it's, it's not offset too much. But uh, I like the contrast in this one. So good job. So the last one. Uh, sunflower, the flower feel, flower feel, and then the uh, carnival vibes. So I think, yeah, nice sunset in this one, and then so the horizon seems offset for me to to this one, but uh, I like the sunflower, like the flower field uh, picture. So just make sure that the horizon are very consistent on the first row because you can see that this one is almost half this one is lower half and then this one is even lower a little bit just make sure that it's consistent other than that i like the idea of uh, spacing it out that's uh, the alternative uh, state uh, spacing it out so keep it up so that's it for my uh, editing and critique today so stay tuned for more video coming up. Thank you so much. Bye.